Right now, 7.33 here on your Saturday and looking ahead in Winston-Salem. Today, we are getting a first look at a new spring exhibition at the Ronalda House Museum. This is called Declaration and Resistance. The artist, Stephen Towns, says his goal was to examine the American dream through the lives of black Americans starting in the late 18th century. Declaration Resistance is an exhibition that I've been working on throughout um, COVID, celebrating the labor of black Americans throughout the United States and how important it is in American history. OK, so that was the artist. Now we want to hear from the Ronaldo House Deputy Director, Phil Archer. He's actually joining us live now to discuss the exhibition's opening day. Phil, thank you so much for being with me this morning. Morning, Jackie. Despite the Arctic gusts, uh, the K3 Winston-Salem <laughs> is really beautiful at Ronaldo today. I'm, I'm sure uh, the daffodils are all blooming. And we, for the first time ever, actually have a, a, the artist with us for an opening of an exhibition. The first wow. time in 17 I years. I didn't realize that was the first time that's happened. I'm very excited to hear that. So I, I'm curious, how does the exhibit at Ronaldo provide insight into the people and history of Winston-Salem? Well, Stephen Towns is exploring the, the huge story of, of black contributions to the country, all the way back to Ona Judge, who was uh, an enslaved woman that worked for George and Martha Washington and escaped and retained her freedom. So it, it's a huge swath of, of US history. But for Winston-Salem, um, the story that might strike home the, the most deeply is one about two women, uh, Flora Pledger and Lily Hamlin, who worked at Rinalda. Um, the, the Pledgers were there as of 1915, and the Hamlins were there shortly thereafter. And um, there are generations of, of, of Black workers who contributed to Rinalda through, through the decades. And Stephen Towns had a residency in Winston-Salem and studied labor history here in the tobacco industry as well as, well as at Rinalda. He created a gorgeous, gorgeous painting of these two women who were, in their own ways, um, teachers and nurturers, they, 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 they contributed a lot to what Ronaldo turned into and their children went on to, to do great things in, in education. So Stephen's been, I think as that clip mentioned, he's been thinking about our, the people that, that, that heal, that nurture, that are guardians of, of communities, especially during the COVID era. So he's been thinking about nurses and teachers and even crossing guards, um, people that, that have given, um, a lot to, to keep communities together during this time. That's really special that he's highlighting part of Rinalda and its history in Rinalda. How, how are you working to present this exhibition to really get that goal across of really um, hitting on the history and highlighting those different moments? Well, the best way, if, if anybody's free this, after, this morning at 11 o'clock, Stephen will actually be on stage in a talk with the curator, Kalola Luckett from Pittsburgh, um, speaking about his work, he's a, a painter as well as a fiber artist. So he, there let's see, 37 works in the show, um, which is a, are a combination of, of paintings and quilts. So um, if you can come over to Ronaldo this morning at 11, that's really the, the ideal way to learn about the show and to meet Stephen and to meet the curator. But we also have um, in February, let's see, next Thursday, there's a free evening from four to seven called Ronaldo on the house. So it's on, it's on us, it's on the house uh, to come over and there'll be spoken word uh, artists, poets and uh, hors d'oeuvres and so forth. Um, great way to see the house and to see the exhibition. This is this Thursday. There's also a date in February the 19th or March rather the 19th. And then there's a community day in April on the 29th when we'll have art activities and all kinds of activities for kids and the whole, the whole family spread out over you know, all of Rinalda for the entire day. So three, three ways to come by uh, that are free, open to everybody, and really to, to, to share in this beautiful exhibition, which I think is in a way the most patriotic exhibition we've ever had. And it's exploring the difficulties in American history, but also the beauty of American history and really uplifting, uplifting stories. I mean, honest stories, tough stories sometimes, but really uplifting ones.
Yeah, those honest, real stories, I think, are the ones that hit home the most, especially. So excited to see those featured. You said 37 art pieces in total for this exhibit. I know you mentioned the one specific painting of the two women from Rinalda, but are there any other pieces of art that you're really excited to be sharing with those guests or things that hit home for you? Um, it's all new work. Stephen is tremendously prolific, but there's one work that the curator and Stephen decided to, to, to borrow back. Um, and it's called Birth of a Nation from 2014. And it was the first quilt that Stephen did. Um, he, he wanted to show a, 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 a black woman nursing a white child, which um, was very common in US history um, in the 18th century and 19th century. And telling that story in paint just didn't quite convey how important that sacrifice was and that 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 relationship could be so he's taught himself to quilt <laughs> so it's a u.s flag that's hanging um from, from a flag of that era an early u.s flag showing a woman a black woman nursing a white child and it's tremendously powerful very very um simple in its the, the fabrics he chose but makes an incredible statement. So that's Birth of a Nation, and it's on view at Rinalda House this spring. Definitely something to look out for. Phil Archer joining us from Rinalda this morning. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time as always. And like he was just mentioning a bit ago, that opening event is today at 11 o'clock this morning. And there are a lot of different parts of that. There's the panel discussion he was mentioning, as well as a uh, performance by the NCA and T State University Fellowship Gospel Choir. That's going to open up the event again that's going on today. And then there are several events going on through next month, as he mentioned. And we'll have those posted on our website later on this morning.